Hi everyone, it is a great week to be a gaming fan, especially if you're a fan of Dice Masters because the brand new set, Dice Masters Marvel's Amazing Spider-Man has just been released, came out just the other day. We got our hands on the starter set and I thought we'd open it up today, take a look at some of the basic cards that you're going to get started with then maybe pick out some of our favorites and even take a look at these cool dice. So why don't we go ahead and open it up. If you've not played Dice Masters before, don't worry, you don't have to, um, you don't have to worry about getting a bunch of other Dice Master sets. That's why each time there is a new set released, whether it be DC's War of Light or Justice League or X-Men versus Avengers or even Age of Ultron, each uh, time they release it, they come out with a starter set and the starter set includes the rules. In fact, the starter set is great because it contains everything that you need to play the game. And then of course you can get the expansion packs and mix them and match them with other Dice Masters games if you want. But it does come with the rules. I'm just, I'm not going to really care too much about getting this open because I know I'm going to be moving this into another storage uh, case in a little bit. It comes with um, some bags for you to put your dice in and the bags look really cool. This is really neat. Oh yeah, look at all the, all the spider, the web warriors coming out of there. Uh, so that's bag one. And the bag two is a little bit more traditional, although the other side does have more uh, variations on Spider-Man, which I like as well. Uh, these bags are really neat. They're just really, they're paper, but you can throw your dice in and play with them. My son uses these all the time. I have a couple of um, um, upgraded bags, a couple of dice bags that you can get from the Major Spoiler store over at majorspoilers.bigotcartel.com. Really great to uh, play Dice Masters in. So you get the bags, you get the cards, and of course you get all of the dice that you need to play this game. Shake them out here onto the table and see what we got. Oh, these are packed kind of tight this time, which is good. So you're going to start out with a bunch of sidekick dice as you normally do. So we will set those eight dice to the side. And because this is a two person starter set, uh, you're going to end up with uh, 16 of these so that each of your, um, you and your friend can, can play with these. Then you have uh, some basic action dice, which are colored, various colors. And this one, it looks like, whoop, looks like we've got blue, green, or blue, pink, yellow, and a green color. And there are three of these dice in every set. And then in this uh, basic set, essentially you and your partner can create a team of six and battle. And based on the six that you'll, you'll use, you will use two dice to build up your team. And then of course, to find out who you can use, we can open up the cards. Now it does include the rundown of all of the cards that come out in this release. And it looks like there are 100 and 42 of them this time around that includes super rares, rares, uh, uncommons and commons. And then as I mentioned before, I am missing a set of uh, battle dice because it gives us cards that we can match up to our uh, basics. And I think I see where I, I messed up in that as I was pulling out the, uh, the battle dice, the gray action dice got mixed in with that. So we have pink, orange, cyan, and gray trying to mix that up this time. And then we have the characters. So this time we have a basic action card with great power. Spin all of your character dice up one level. Ooh, that's nice. And if you get a double burst instead, spin all your dice to level three. Wow, that is really powerful. We have web blast, uh, deal two damage to a target non-Spider-Man character die. Underdog, this one we've seen before. Uh, instead, knock out the target non-Spider-Man character die. That underdog has appeared a couple of times. There is a Stan Lee True Believer basic action card. Uh, target character gets a plus two to the attack and one to the defense until the end of your turn. This also has a global where once during your turn, you may remove one of your characters from the field zone until the end of your turn. That could be really helpful, especially if you know that um, you're going to be attacked uh, and have your fielded characters knocked out. I could find some, some real uses for that. Then we have Spidey's Last Stand. Uh, sacrifice a character to draw and roll two dice. Uh, sacrifice characters are placed in the use pile. Very cool. We have Slander. <laughs> nice J. Jonah Jameson picture there. Target opponent character loses its ability text until the end of the turn. 
nice. And then you can pay one fist as a global when a win fielded or when this character attacks ability damages you, deal one damage to the target opponent, cool. And then we have great responsibility that kind of goes with great power. Uh, this is a five cost. Um, sacrifice a character to knock out target opposing character. Sacrifice characters are placed in the use pile, cool. They don't go to the knocked out pile, they go to the use pile. Then we have exposed. Uh, target opponent must pay one life for each non, I think that's, uh, what is that, uh, co or, uh, not Cobra, uh, Hydra, non-Hydra assigned to block the turn. It also has a global, uh, pay two lightning. Target opponent must pay one life to block with one or more characters. You may only use this once per turn. We have Betrayal, deal one damage to target opponent for each character die in the field zone. Ooh, now that's kind of nice. Good thing this is not a global because if you do get a double burst, uh, if Betrayal dealt is at least two damage, put the die in your prep area. Wow. And then a couple of more basic action cards. Uh, back for seconds. It's an underdog. You may use this effect when your opponent hits more, has more character dice in the field than you do. Field any character from your use pile at level three. Wow, nice. And then Arch Nemesis, uh, target character die you control and target opposing character die deal damage to each other equal to their attack. And then there's a global pay a shield. Target character has defense equal to its attack until the end of the turn. So those are the basic action cards that you and your friend can decide which uh, two you're going to put into play. And you don't have to use all of them. Or, well, you, I would recommend that you at least use two each. But the other thing is your, you can use your opponent's basic action cards. So that's really handy. Then we get into the characters and we have White Tiger. We have Spider Woman. We've seen Spider Woman before. This is a different Spider Woman. Spider-Man, Public Menace, Tangled Web, and Spectacular. Spider-Man's appeared, I think, at least once before. Sir Silver Sable. Those look to be all of the hero cards with the Spider-Man affiliation. And then we get, oh, nope, I take that back. There are a few more heroes in this deck. But we do get the Kingpin, which is a Hydra affiliation. We have Ghost Rider, which is the hero affiliation. Uh, we have Drax finally showing up. Now, this one did show up. There was a Drax that showed up in Age of Ultron, if I remember correctly. Um, but this gives you another Drax uh, set of cards that you can use. This is a Guardians of the Galaxy affiliation. Then we have Carnage, which is the uh, Hydra affiliation. So we have two Hydra agent cards or sets of cards in this. And then we have the Guardians of the Galaxy, and then the rest are Spider-Man affiliations, which are nice. The dice in this set are really interesting as well. I think I like the Carnage dice because they got this weird pink-purple combo going on. And then also the, um, I forget which one uh, this one is. This is Ghost Rider. No, I'm sorry, this is Drax, the Destroyer. Uh, the green and, and red really work good for Drax. And then, of course, the rest look... Uh, Fairly similar to things that we have seen before, and so there are some really good dice in this set. Okay, with the dice out of the way, if I were going to build an 18 deck, which really this one has eight cards of three each, so there's only 24 cards in here. So if you're playing with a friend in this starter set, you might want to go four and four characters. Uh, but if I was going to create eight, a team of eight out of this, these are the cards that I would pick because I think they sound... Uh, most useful and can probably deal the most damage, even though I got a couple of these that are very expensive. Uh, so first up, I have White T Tiger Razor Sharp. When fielded, you may sacrifice another character to give this one a plus three to the attack until the end of your turn. Sacrifice characters go in the use pile. Um, I can use a go global and I can pay a fist. Once during your turn, each player must field a sidekick die from their used pile if able. Next up, I have Wonder Woman. She has a, th or a, sorry, Spider Woman. She has a three fist cost. She has the underdog, which I like the underdog feature. There are a lot of underdog cards uh, in this set. But with the underdog, again, you may use this effect when your opponent has more character dice in the field zone than you do. Spider Woman gets plus two to the attack if you want to use the underdog. Then I decided to use Spider Man Public Menace. 
when I get KO'd or when Spider-Man gets knocked out, I gain one life, which can be very helpful. And if I have a burst, instead gain two life if you have another spider character fielded, which I, I will have one, two, three, potentially four of these characters fielded at any time. It also has a global that allows me to target character die gains a Spider-Man affiliation this turn. So the underdog one, I think, is probably one of the more pow powerful cards in the set. You may disagree. That's why there's a comment section below so that you can share your thoughts. Silver Sable um, Wild Pack is what I chose for her. When Silver Sable is blocked, the defending player loses one life and you gain one life. So what I'm trying to do in my deck is try to, in this deck combo, is try to give as much life back to me when I am attacked. As far as other Spider-Man affiliations, I also pulled in Ghost Rider, the new Rider. When Ghost Rider is blocked, you may sacrifice Ghost Rider to deal two damage to a target character, uh, die, or player. Sacrifice characters go into the use pile. And then for my uh, Drax character, I thought uh, you may pay one life to field Drax for free. So if I can field it for free, but then get a life back by blocking with one of these other characters, it makes sense, especially if I can get a uh, four, six Drax up into the field to attack, and then maybe powering him up from some other card uh, combos. Then I have Carnage, uh, Cletus uh, Cassidy. While Carnage is active, when an opponent uses an action die, Carnage deals two damage. Hoo hoo hoo. When an opponent uses an action die, Carnage deals two damage. So that really encourages your opponent not to use these action die. And then finally, I used uh, Kingpin Wilson Fisk. When Kingpin takes damage, move a sidekick die from your use pile to your prep area, which just gives you another chance to either get more sidekicks or to power up or get some dice to spend on other characters or to get some of these other characters fielded into, uh, into battle. So those are the cards that I found most interesting in here. I think you may have found some other ones. That's why I said use the comment section. As far as basic cards go, I don't know. There are some interesting ones there. I want to see how they work. I'm a big fan of globals. My son is a big fan of globals when we play. Uh, so I have to look at those and make sure that whatever globals I pick are not going to backfire on me at some point in the future. So that wraps it up for this real quick look at the Dice Masters Marvel's Amazing Spider-Man set. This is the basic set that came out this week. Now they do have the booster packs. I didn't get any this time because we're going to open up a giant gravity feed uh, and figure out if we can get all of the other dice in the uh, set. So that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, and we will be playing some more Dice Masters right here on this channel in the near future. Again, if you have any questions, use the comment section below. I love reading your comments. If you have any other thoughts or ideas, you can pin them in, uh, in an email to me at podcast at majorspoilers.com. Subscribe to this channel if you like what we do and want to see more of it. And be sure to visit our website, majorspoilers.com. And until next time, take care and let's hope that all of your dice are the level three maximums that you can use to wipe out your opponent. Take care.